Hello everyone, stop the fake tour Palace told, or lose the lot. This time, it's over for Harry and Meghan. If they insist on doing this fake tour, I think they will lose more than they gain. Of course, the royal family can't sit idly by any longer. In the event that this occurs, Prince William is eager for it to take place. And it goes without saying that the Princess of Wales would be overjoyed. However, it would appear that somebody within the palace wall is not making the appropriate choices with reference to the former royals who are currently organized to embark on yet another fictitious royal trip. Whereas, why not? I am interested in this because, as you can probably understand, this specific false royal journey to Colombia has already received all of the terrible headlines. You know, despite their best efforts, things are not going their way. And once more, here is where things start to become really messy and confusing. Because, you know, the palace could actually do something to stop this. You know, forget about the championship scandal for the time being. My explanation of how it would have to come from Parliament as well, in addition to coming from His Majesty the King, has been repeated on a number of different occasions. With the current circumstances, we believe that it would be appropriate to strip Harry and Meghan of their respective titles. Let's vote. Everyone, if anyone agrees to strip the titles of these two scammers, comment number one and vice versa. If you disagree, comment number two. This would need someone from Parliament to go in and explain to the King that this is the case. You should be aware of how this operates. But this is visits to other countries, which, of course, is the second one they have taken at this point. Her first trip was to Nigeria, where she celebrated the fact that she is 43% Nigerian, despite the fact that they have supposedly not received any physical confirmation of this. This trip to Colombia is a complete and utter joke in and of itself. Despite the fact that nobody really saw it coming, it appeared to be the only offer that was arriving through the door. In addition, as I mentioned earlier, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, is bored, and he wants to do something, or at the very least, get out of the house. It is a free vacation, a five-star premium hotel, a lot of protection, and provides her with some peace and quiet for a while. She tries on a few dresses, makes new friends, and brings cameras with her. You know, if you want a tranquil existence, you would do anything, right? The palace, the real people who work at the cogs of the working royal palace, cannot understand why they have not been directed to write to all foreign dignitaries, demanding that they do not send official invitations to Harry and Meghan for false world tours. This is where things start to get quite interesting. You are aware of how this thing will turn out. That is something that they could easily do. Additionally, this would carry a great deal of weight due to the fact that these specific nations would, of course, not want to disrespect the monarchy of the United Kingdom. The answer to this question lies with two individuals at this point. In point of fact, Majesty the King is one of the possible candidates. Moreover, it would appear that the reason he is hesitating regarding this matter is simply that he does not wish to agitate or offend them any longer, as he has already witnessed what they are capable of doing. William, according to a source that is quite conveniently located, is of the opinion that so what? Despite their best efforts, nobody seems to be concerned by it. But it would appear that the king is still maintaining a delicate stance in the negotiations, if we may use that term, in order to extract things bit by bit. He cites the fact that, of course, the removal of Frogmore Cottage was the appropriate way to handle things a little bit later on, and then, of course, severed ties if this is something that they do not wish to do. When it comes to the royal household, it is producing full and utter anarchy. However, as one can understand, this will undoubtedly provide joy to one of the two individuals who are pretending to be royals. I think the king is embarrassed by these fake royal trips. I am also offended Meghan's clothing choices and ungratefulness towards the poor, who try to present her with a gift. And her rejection always embarrasses me. So King Charles has got to stop them. They are making fools of royals. They are not royals. I know those two cannot hurt the royals they think they can, but no way 
just making constant fools of themselves. But the worry is that the dismal duo may make a serious geopolitical gaffe, which, because some countries don't understand that they aren't royal, reflects badly on the, the real royals. Funny how Harry and Meghan didn't want to do genuine royal tours, yet they want to do fake ones. She had a hissy fit when went to Australia and found out they wouldn't be paid to represent the monarchy, and all her subsequent fits started. I recall that news story very well. Now she thinks it's okay to capitalize on their tours, even though they were told no, and you're either in or out, no halfway. She's a witch with a capital B. In fact, do you think that the royal family ignoring those two grifters takes courage and strength? It must be sad to watch your son showing his demise to the whole world and watching his son embarrass himself. They are living their life and getting on with it and dealing with cancer. Harry is sinking himself. King Charles needs to stop trying to soothe Harry and Meghan and let them know he is in control. I wish William had the power to put those two in their place once and for all. They have caused so much heartache and embarrassment. They are bullies and very dangerous. Charles is letting them implode all on their own. He's not speaking to them or available for any discussion or financial support. As to going to Colombia, it's not part of the Commonwealth and they can go wherever they want. It's such a corrupt place, so it'll suit the grifters. The guerrillas will have more strength than the protection squad, so perhaps Harry and Meghan will end up in the jungle, kidnapped for ransom, and could be a Smollett of course, but let's hope the king ignores any dilemma they put themselves into. I think it is about time the king stopped acting like a father and more like a king. King Charles needs to stop being delicate with the Harkles if he wants to save his monarchy. They should have been stripped of everything. The king is very stupid to think Harry's the son he was. He's not. He's as bad as his handler. Please strip the titles. You are losing the public's support. Loving your son is one thing, but sacrificing your own dignity is a big price to pay. Enough is enough from that pair. This dilly-dallying is making His Majesty look less than he should be. Pull the titles right to the dignitaries and just let that pair sink their own ship. Okay, publicity and money and free accommodation in probably the most dangerous country in the world. Gun-wise, kidnapping, murder and drugs, etc. Well, Harry will love it and she worries about London. Honestly, she has no shame. I'm assuming they get paid to do this sort of thing. How the mighty have fallen. Of course, it could be that Nigeria and Colombia are essentially the only countries asking Harry and Meghan, and there's nothing else lined up. Who knows? But we're coming to a place where support and belief in Harry and Meghan's whining and complaining is dwindling down to almost nothing. The king needs to show some strength and the willingness to draw a thicker line in the sand, in particular when it comes to Harry and Meghan play-acting at being official royals. If he can't do it, he needs to step back and allow Prince William to deal with it. Certainly, the Duchess of Dog Biscuits never wanted a quiet life. I think that was what self-serving Harry thought he was going to have. He really should grow a pair and tell her to F off, buy a small ranch, and go live on it, but not in the US. He needs to be deported from the US. He is an admitted drug user before and after he entered the US. And no matter what is on the visa, he should not be allowed to stay in the US. I don't care if it hurts the king's feelings. It's time someone showed self-serving. Harry, he's really not special. He's a hindrance. Yes, as I said, Colombia is the only country to answer their letters, begging to be invited. All the others know they are not royal and don't intend to extend the courtesy to the delusional duo. You can bet that they are getting a payday for this crazy tour. Believe me, Colombia didn't invite the grifters to help them. They are going to use the grifters for their own purposes. It will backfire on both Colombia and the delusional duo. Oh, it already is. But anyway, the opposition to Harry and Meghan's upcoming trip is not only from the British and Americans, but also from people all over the world. Here are some typical people's reactions for me to read to you. I'm an Australian. 
also a staunch monarchy supporter. I want my king to stand up to his rogue son and his greedy Instagram-loving ball and chain and put an end to this debacle once and for all. Nothing short of the removal of titles and Harry's place is the line of succession absolved. Close the door on these two or lose the monarchy. I believe the king must decide. They want it out. Give them their out. I hope King Charles was the right person to be Harry's dad. I hope it is not too late to guide his son. I hope Harry will listen. It seems Prince Charles was indifferent to Princess Diana until she was gone. There is still some time to tear down walls in our relationships as long as we are still breathing. We all have a certain amount of time to do what needs to get done in our lives. We have to figure out what that is and succeed. Or I truly think Charles needs to do something. Harry and Meghan know they can walk all over him. They have no respect for him or the British people. If Charles puts a stop to this, they will know they have gone too far and hopefully lead the quiet life they both wanted. There's more. Charles walks on eggshells when dealing with the two slanders and liars of the country, yet Charles can easily put out a statement against the British people in the UK. Charles should really step down. He is digging a big hole for himself. It is clear that many people are angry and worried when Meghan and Harry make such a fake royal trip. And the person who is being called the most right now is King Charles. I am wondering what King Charles will do with all these backlashes. And what do you think of this video? Please comment below. Thank you everyone for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel to support us. Goodbye and see you again.